Well, what we know pretty, I hope, I mean, because it's on the FDA website, is they've started a clinical trial in humans. So they're starting their very first intro into, you know, cl clinical trials in humans with the Neuralink device. Um, and then based on what Mr. Musk tweeted today, um, they did their first implant on Sunday, I think is what he said. So they've actually completed a uh, procedure with their first patient and that it went well. Um, and that's very encouraging. Well, what we've learned so far is that it just, it works. They got, they've worked out the surgical procedure. They've got all the proper regulatory approvals in place and they've had a first successful implant in a human. That's a big deal. Um, that is a monumental achievement, honestly. Um, but the real proof in the pudding is going to come from where are we at six months, 12 months, 24 months. <laughs> if the device continues to function well on that time frame, now the landscape has changed. This is a new territory for kind of neural interfaces that's very exciting. So other companies, other brain computer interfaces companies are focusing solely on the medical space. And Elon Musk has not been shy about saying, you know, we why just focus on the medical space? We can, you know, there are other things that we can use it for. Like one of the things that, you know, implants for the masses, anyone can have one. We can use it to, you know, store our memories, access the way we want. So this is like even like to be able to go against the threat of artificial intelligence. So again, no shy about saying this will have non-medical applications. Brain surgery, you know, it's not a trivial thing. It has a lot of potential risk, could be brain hemorrhage, could be, you know, seizures. Um, and so I, I think we have to be mindful that even though they're using a novel way to uh, implant the device. We just don't know if it's truly going to be a more safer approach uh, for human patients.